You're listening to Blood and Breakfast, the most important meal of the day. All characters and events depicted in this work are entirely fictitious. Episode 1, Flames of Deception In the picturesque town of Crestwood, a veil of deceit concealed the dark secrets lurking beneath the surface. Amelia Sinclair, a renowned socialite, lived a seemingly idyllic life with her husband, William. But behind closed doors, their marriage was a suffocating prison of manipulation and emotional torment. One faithful evening, the tranquility of Crestwood was shattered by a devastating fire that engulfed the Sinclair residence. The flames licked at the night sky, casting an eerie glow upon the horrified onlookers. As the inferno raged, screams echoed through the neighborhood, a symphony of terror and anguish. Firefighters battled the merciless blaze, their valiant efforts uncovering a gruesome discovery amidst the smoldering ruins, a charred body, beyond recognition, lying motionless in the remains of what was once a beautiful home. The sight sent shockwaves of horror through the tight-knit community, forever etching the trauma into their collective memory. Detective Michael Thompson, a seasoned investigator with a reputation for his tenacious pursuit of justice, was assigned to the case. With each step, he took through the charred remains of the Sinclair residence, the weight of the tragedy pressed upon him, threatening to consume his spirit. The stench of burnt wood and sorrow lingered in the air, a constant reminder of the horror that had unfolded within those walls. As Detective Thompson delved deeper into the web of deceit surrounding the Sinclair family, he uncovered a tapestry of pain and manipulation. Interviews with friends, family, and acquaintances unveiled a fractured relationship between William and Amelia, their union an intricate dance of control and submission. Behind their polished facade lay a tangled mess of shattered dreams and broken spirits. A tip led the detectives to Nathan Anderson, whose obsession with her had festered like a cancer in his soul. Nathan's seething resentment towards William and his desperate desire to possess Amelia cast a dark shadow of suspicion over him. Detective Thompson delved into Nathan's troubled past, uncovering a history of violence and twisted infatuation that sent shivers down his spine. Through the ashes and rubble, the detective discovered a shattered wine glass, its delicate fragments tainted by the residue of a lethal poison. The realization sent a chill through his veins, a chilling reminder that the horrors of this crime extended beyond the infernos that consumed their lives. Witness testimony shattered the illusions of Amelia's innocence, revealing inconsistencies in her alibi that tore the fabrics of truth. Doubt seeped into the hearts of those who once saw her as a pillar of grace and sophistication. The town's collective grief transformed into a simmering cauldron of suspicion, leaving a stain on their collective consciousness. In the pursuit of justice, Detective Thompson unraveled a trove of damning evidence, a series of incriminating emails between Nathan and Amelia. The chilling correspondence laid bare their sinister plot, a conspiracy born from twisted desires and a thirst for power. The detective's hands trembled as he read the words, each syllable an echo of the darkness that consumed their lives. Interrogations plunged Amelia into the depths of her own deceit where she could no longer hide behind her carefully constructed facade. The weight of guilt pressed upon her, breaking down the walls of her defenses, and she confessed to orchestrating William's murder. The truth spilled forth, painting a macabre portrait of a loveless marriage, suffocating control, and a desperate quest for freedom at any cost. The courtroom became a stage of raw emotions as Amelia Sinclair stood trial for the murder of her husband. The evidence presented painted a vivid tapestry of a woman consumed by deceit and driven to commit the ultimate betrayal. The haunting echoes of her deception reverberated through the hushed halls, seeping into the very bones of those who bore witness to the horrifying truth. Crestwood, forever marked by the echoes of deceit, carried the scars of this tragedy long after the courtroom drama ended. The survivors, traumatized and broken, sought solace in the flickering light of hope. Detective Thompson, haunted by the intricate web of lies he had unraveled, carried the weight of their trauma upon his shoulder, a burden that threatened to drown him in a sea of darkness. As the town slowly healed its wounds, 
its collective consciousness forever changed, the echoes of deception became a haunting reminder of the fragility of trust and the depths to which human nature could descend. Crestwood emerged from the shadows, its spirit bruised but unbroken, clenching onto the flickering hope of a brighter future, determined to rise above the horrors that had once consumed their lives.